Hello everybody, um, today I'm actually making a video on how to mod Sunless Sea. Now, I'm surprised no one's actually made a video about this yet, but there's plenty of um, text tutorials, and it actually came out like mid to mid late last month, like August, so um, it was like the beginning of September while I'm recording this. So, alright, so in order to get to the files that you actually have to mod, you want to make it um, you want to hit, well, at least on Windows 8. I don't know how this changes from operating system to operating system. But for Windows 8, you right click on the uh, Microsoft button, you hit run. Now, for Minecraft, it's percent app data percent. I thought that's what it was at first, but it's not. It's actually capital A, app, no space, and capital D, data. You go with that. So, I just started my computer, so you know. And actually, believe it or not, if you do this, you can actually make it to your roaming folder with everything else in it, like Minecraft, whatnot. So yeah, just a little fun thing. All right, so you want to go to local low. So after app day, you want to go local low. Then fail better game. What's in here again? No, it's just scrolls. Okay, fail better games. And then some will see. Now here you'll find. Um, assuming you've been here before, you'll find a new folder called add-on. This is where this is the mod that I made. Um, I made a few changes. That's why it's version three. So anyways. Um, What's really neat about modding Sunless Sea is that you don't need a lot of like like experience. You don't really know what you're doing because it's really simple. All you really need is Notepad Plus Plus. I'll show you why. So like, let's say you want to mod um, like how fast the ship goes because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to do that. You want to take this. Well, you're going to see navig like for example um, navigation constants. This is probably the easiest one to mod. You're gonna find um, navigation con the navigation constants import. You need to actually mod them both. They're also gonna conflict and cause issues. So I'm just only gonna use this one because I'm only using example. You want to copy it and paste it. All right, so we got this. Now you want to edit with Notepad plus plus. You can do it with regular Notepad. It's just that you'll see why you might not want to do that one. All right, here's why. You can do it. It's just that it's one giant line of code. You could do this, it's just it's a little tough to do. So you want to highlight everything, including the little red things in the end. You want to go to Plugins, JSON Viewer, then Format JSON. You are, you will have to go to like um, Plugins and, or wherever it is. Wherever you download Plugins, I forget how to do this. Wherever you download Plugins, that's what you do. So here you're going to find everything. Now it's kind of self-explanatory, like hu Hunger Update Period, um, how often, like how many ticks, hunger updates. By the way, speaking of ticks, <laughs> um, you can't turn ticks off. You can't turn it down to zero. It needs to be that, like you can turn it as high and low as you want to, as long as it's not absolute zero. Because I try to do that, like turn off the ticks. Now, by the way, every second is a tick in this game. You can't change that. So anyways, at least I don't think you can. I don't know. So anyways, um, the thing is, is that um, like if you tr if you turn off um, ticks, the game it actually doesn't work. You actually need there to be ticks in order for it to function in the first place. So that's like one of the sacred cows of this that you can't change. There are probably more, but I really don't know. Something awaits you. Something awaits you. Period. Um, I don't think you can turn it down to zero. That might be tick time. And then um, something awaits you. Time daytime increase. I don't really know what that is. This, I think, up here, something awaits you period, this is how many seconds it is before something awaits you. So, like, if, like I'll show my mod in a minute. Um, I turn that down, way down. And I don't know what this actually means. This might be every um, how many hours or in-game minutes, hours, time it does. I don't really know. I'll be honest. Then as you go down, this is how much hunger increases. You can turn this down to zero to turn off hunger. Now, this reverse penalty because when you go in reverse it actually cuts off some of your speed. Acceleration, not, I don't really think that makes much of a difference. <laughs> Ship speed, you can turn this as high low, as low as you want to. Um, yada yada yada. Where is, like there's something, base terror increase, this is how you turn off like terror, fear, whatever it's called. Um, hull, this is like repairing hull stuff, like this is what, like you see what I mean? Like this is um like how low you can go before you can um before it cuts you off from repairing stuff like that and then that's repair i don't really know what this does repair update period whatever that is i don't know what that is so anyways um so yeah this is just how you get into the files and stuff like that 
So, no, I do not want that. So yeah, like I said, use copy and pa use copy, um, whichever things you want to. Um, yeah, just copy and paste whatever files you want to change. So I'm just gonna delete that because I'm not changing anything today, and I'll empty it. That'll be ambitious. So pretty much as far as I know, combat constants. That's um like how your enemies react, like this, like um how far enemies will chase you, how far they can see, stuff like that. Promo data that's just like website stuff like that. I have no idea what that is. Navigation constants. That's like um ship, like um fear, hunger, how fast your ship goes, stuff like that. Encyclopedia. I don't know what associations is. Combat attacks. That's how you can like um change. Uh, how should I put this? Like enemy attacks and your attacks. But beware, it goes all across the board. So like, let's say you take the torpedo and you really like put the torpedo damage down to zero. Yeah, enemies that shoot torpedoes won't be able to do damage to you, but your torpedoes won't do any damage to them either. So that's it, someone else. Combat items like flares, lump of blue skin to lack. Um, what else? What other? Um, strange catch, stuff like that. This dictates like what they do. Then spawn entities, that's like monsters themselves. Like you can make them neutral, you can make them go slow, you can only give them uh, however, however much health you want, whatever attack you want. Like you can, like if you wanted to, I didn't do this, but you, you could make like the sharks shoot torpedoes if you really wanted them to. Um, stuff like that. So tutorials, I don't, I didn't really check too much on that, so I really don't know what that does. Um, entities, events, don't know. I'm really not sure. All I'm really positive of is that exchanges is like the stores, like um, what they sell, how much they go for, stuff like that. Um, don't open events, plainly put, because every single story, every single word of the story is in here. Now, Notepad++ can open it, but you're going to have a really tough time with all the lag for um, trying to format it. That's really the only way you're really going to understand it. So if you want to make your own stories and be ambitious, go ahead. It's just going to be kind of difficult. Everything else is really easy. I have to say, Sunless Sea is one of the easiest games to mod. Like with Minecraft, you have to be like a super genius in order to use it. Like when I tried to mod it, like I made a mod for it. Um, working on another one, half finished another one. Um, so this is not to fix. But anyways, um, I actually had to read word for word from tutorials. <laughs> like several different tutorials in order to do anything. This is much easier. Saves, this is like all your saves, there's ding a ling. Um, what else? Oh, images, by the way. If you go into here, this is all the pictures. So if you want to, you can change. Like, let's say you want the alarming scholar to be like, I don't know, Lindsay Lohan or something. Go ahead and change it. So, uh, stuff like that. Like, if you want to turn the um, ancient rifle into, like, you know, an AK 47 or something, go right ahead. So. Yeah, that's that. That's where all the pictures are held. Alright, so... Now, so I've went over how... Um, like, what's in each of the... Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. Geography, that that's like... That's like, um... What do you call it? Like, where the stuff is, how the stuff moves. I think. I'm not quite sure. I really don't know too much about myself. I think it's important to mention that only, alright? Only... Only um, constants, encyclopedia, entities, and geography. These four right here can be included in your mod. Only those four. There's no support for anything else. Images, you really don't need to mod those. It's just how they are. So anyways, now, when you go to make your mod, all right, so like, let's say you copied all the files you want, you change everything you needed, stuff like that. Now beware, you might have to change several different files to make one change, because everything's really intertwined. So, so what you want to do is go into add-on, make a folder for your mod. So this is my mod my folder. Now, in the text tutorial that the actual developers released for it, it actually skips this step entirely. So I did it and I was wondering why my mod wouldn't work. This is why. You need this right here. It's like the folder that holds everything. So I had the way too easy mod version 3. Go into here. Now, you don't copy the folders. You simply make folders with the exact same names of the stuff that you want to change. Like you know what I mean? So like if you go back here, like let's say you copied a file from Constance, let's say. 
you're going to add on make your mod folder then you have to make a constants folder right here and then the f and then what happens is you put the files that you copied and changed you stick into here same name same everything stick it right in here and that's it that's really all there is to uh, modding it I'm trying to think of anything I forgot um, oh yeah uh, there's actually this text tutorial made by this guy um, good something I don't know forget but the person who made it they said that not to copy the entire like file like like take the exchanges like say you want to change something in this like let's say um yeah like let's say you want to mod this don't take the entire exchanges folder and put it in there only take the parts that you want like make a copy of that and um just put one there and delete everything else, like only the parts that you're modding you should keep. Because the whole reason behind that, what the person said was, now I didn't really understand it, and uh, maybe you guys will, is, uh, what exactly? It was like, because if they come out with an update, or if they make like new stories or whatnot, like not necessarily adding new stories, but if they change existing things in the folder that you changed, those changes won't appear in your game if you're using your mod. So, I mean, I guess it would work. I guess it's a good idea. It's just that I'm too lazy to do it, so I don't do that. Not that I really care. So, so yeah, that's all there really is to it. So, just a quick overview. You take what you want. You copy the folder. Go into Notepad++. Chase and view it. Edit what you want. Go into Add-on. Make a mod folder. Um, make... Um, copy well not make copies but make another folder of make a replica of the folder of what you want it to go into then you do that and you put your stuff into it that's it that's all there really is to it it's pretty much just changing values at its simplest it's changing values at its most complex is adding new stories so i'm pretty sure all you guys are really going to do is um pretty much what, what i do which is just changing values assuming you know what the values are although like let's say which i do Beware though, like for exchanges. I'll just open this at the Pad Plus Plus, not gonna make a copy. Um, come on. Go, go, go. There we go. Plugins. Remember, JSON Viewer, JSON Format. Like, for something like this, for example, they have, um, like, IDs. Like, you need to know what the IDs are. That's a, Now, I usually look up on, like, the forums and stuff like that what the IDs are, or on the wiki. The wiki will tell you exactly. What? I saw like price 8,000 echoes or something. That was insane. Yeah, it costs 8,000. What is that? I don't know. So, yeah, um, that was kind of strange. So, yeah, um, no, do not save the file. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you need to look up, um, like I said, the best place to look for IDs and stuff like that is the wiki. No, very easy to use. So, um, yeah, I hope this helped you. And if it didn't, feel free to um, post your comments, uh, questions, comments, concerns in the comments. And I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Now, I don't know why, but, like, my notifications for YouTube, it's really kind of hit or miss. So sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't. And a lot of times I'll go and check my analytics and it'll tell me you have a comment on this. And it's like, well, why didn't I see it? And it's like, approve of this comment, and it's just someone saying, nice job or something. And it's like, why are you marking this as spam? So, yeah, if I don't see your comment right away, that's probably why. Um, like I said, I hope this helped you. And that's about it. Really simple. Goodbye.